Hey guys, welcome back. Great to see you all back here. In today's topic, we are gonna talk about forward control pass, backward control Wait. pass, and Slack. This is something once you understand it, it's definitely gonna help you score marks in those Wait. questions. There won't be questions on how to do the forward control pass, but in order to arrive at the solution, you would have to either do forward control or backward control pass to understand the slack and the critical path. It's very, very easy. And I always felt confident that I can gain 100% marks on those questions. So for that reason, I want to share here what is critical path, how to calculate the critical path, what is slack, what is forward control and backward control pass, so that you can also gain full marks in those questions around network diagram and critical path. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm Nick and you are on Nick's Projects channel. All right, now let's look at a typical question that you can expect in the exam. The question will provide you with the activity name, dependency, for example, it can say activity one can start immediately and activity two can start after activity one. That means activity two has a dependency on activity one. So that's the dependency. And it, it should also give you the duration of the activity. If you have those information, then you are ready to start drawing your network diagram. And that's critical. Once you have the questions with the activity name, duration and dependency, Try to understand the dependency and I'm gonna show you how. And you can start drawing the network diagram. Once you have the network diagram, then you will come up with the forward control and the backward control pass numbers. You call it as early start, early finish, late start and late finish numbers, which will be used to calculate the slack, all right? So let's uh, do a screen sharing, shall we? So this is how the questions will look like in the exam. And they will ask what's the critical path. They can ask what is the float for activity two. Excuse my handwriting here. It's tough to write on the screen. So anyway, that's how you will get the questions in the exam, right? This can be a question. This can be another question based on the scenario that we have here. So if you get a question like the one that we saw on previously, so First thing I would do is I create a table for myself on the upper right hand corner and I would call it as task name and dependency and then duration. And then let's call it as activity name as one through five that we have one, two, three, four and five and the dependency for each based on the question activity one has no dependency activity two is dependent on activity one activity three is dependent again on activity one activity four is dependent on activity two and activity five is dependent on three and four all right now let's look at the duration for activity one it's three days Activity two is again three days. Activity three is six days, eight and four respectively. So once we have this diagram, it's easy for me to create the network diagram because I know what is the dependency for each. So we will start with a template. We're gonna call the template as a square with early start and early finish and at the bottom you will have similarly late start and late late finish so that's how the sample looks like and in the middle i would put the name of the activity and the duration so activity name and duration and outside we will use slack or float both are same thing so outside the box we will have slack or float and the formula to calculate the float or slack is early finish minus late finish 
or you can also use late start minus early start. So basically it's the difference between these two. So the numbers when you start creating the diagram, the difference between these two or these two, that's the formula float. Okay. Now let's jump on to actually creating this example for each one of the tasks. So we will start with task one. So I have activity one, which has three days in duration. So I'm going to do it as three and let's do the early start and early finish, late start and late finish. So for time being, we will fill this information later, but understand how I'm building the network. So activity one, there is no dependency. So we don't have to worry. Activity two has a activity one dependency. So when I draw the structure for activity two and the duration is three, we can write that in. I know that it has a dependency on activity one. So an arrow comes in from here to here. Does that make sense? So the dependency is shown here with the arrow. Okay. Now we will again put those space holders for early start, early finish, late start and late finish like this. We will fill that in later. Move on to activity number three, which has again dependency on activity one. So I'm going to put right underneath here so we can have an arrow from activity one going in here to activity three and the duration is six. So we are going to do that, put in those top and bottom boxes. Now move on to activity four, which has eight in duration, but is dependent on activity two. So it's dependent on here. So an arrow comes from there and it, it's called activity four with eight days in duration. We will fill those boxes in and then look at activity five. Activity five is dependent on three and four. So it is dependent on three and it is dependent on four. So two arrows. So that is activity five with four days in duration. And these are the dependency, these arrows coming in. All right. Does that make sense? So again, put in that boxes at the top and bottom corner to represent ES, EF, LS, and LF. All right. Makes sense. Now let's start filling in those numbers. So this is the starting point for us. So we'll start with day one and the duration is three. So three plus one, four, it needs four days. So just reduce one from the number. So you add up this, you add up these two number, this number here and the duration. So you get four, then reduce one. So that is equal to three. So that's what you will write in the corner, top right corner, so three. Now from here, it's going into activity two and activity three, right? So in the left top corner, you wanna pick the next day. So by third day, your activity one is complete. So you can start the next activity that is dependent on the very next day, on day number four. Does that make sense? So here it ended in three. So we are starting on the fourth day. All right. So again, you would add these two number three and four. So seven, seven minus one is six. So you put that as six here. Now, again, at the bottom, you can add those two number, the this number and the duration. So six plus four, 10, 10 minus one is nine. So you would put that as nine. Activity two is going to end on day six. So we can start activity four on day seven. And now similarly, how we did in the past, add this and the duration. So seven plus eight is 15. 15 minus one is 14. So that would go in here. So now for activity five, pick the highest number nine versus 14. Obviously 14 is the highest. So 14, 
14th day this will be completed so you can start activity 5 on the 15th day makes sense now again for the early finish you have to add this number and the duration so 15 plus 4 is 19 19 minus 1 is 18 so by arriving at the end you know that the project takes 18 days so sometimes they can ask what is the duration of the project from this question right here so you you, you have the answer as um, 18 so it could be a question you know the duration of the project so by drawing this network diagram you can arrive at the project duration also all right now we have we are halfway through we have completed our forward control pass and we arrived and filled the top boxes for all these activities now we have to start at uh, the bottom corner so we will put like this again since it's 18 here we would start at 18 so when you're doing backward control pass you just reduce the number so when we did forward control we added 15 plus 4 19 minus 1 is 18 but when we go back you just reduce the number from here so it will be 18 minus 4 plus 1 so when doing the forward control pass you would do is add up these two number the early start and the duration so early start plus duration minus 1 right so 15 plus 4 19 minus 1 that's how you get 18 and similarly when doing the backward pass you would do late finish which is this one this is called the late finish so late finish minus duration notice how here it was plus and now it is minus and then add the plus one so in this case you would do is 18 18 minus 4 that is 14 plus 1 so that is 15 so you do the 15 here now this is activity 5 is going back into 3 and 4 so you would start with the 14th day here so it's it ended on the day 15 so here you would start 14 and here also you would start with 14 all right now apply the same formula lf minus duration plus one so this is lf this is the duration so that would be 14 minus 8 plus 1 so 14 minus 8 is 6 6 plus 1 is 7 so you, you got that number in again in activity 3 you would do the same thing 14 minus 6 plus 1 so 14 minus 6 is 8 8 plus 1 is 9 it's coming from activity 4 to 2 so you pick this number that goes into here so 7 seventh day activity 4 is complete so you pick the 7 minus 1 so 6 we'll start with 6 so again the formula is l of minus duration plus 1 6 minus 3 is 3 3 plus 1 is 4 so you got 4 here now for activity a there are two arrows coming right one from activity three and one from activity two so you would pick the smallest when going back pick the smallest remember when going forward control here we pick the largest number 14 between 14 uh, here and the 14 i mean sorry 14 here and the nine here so that's how this 15 was taken so similarly, while going back from the bottom left corner, pick the smallest number. So in this case, 9 and 4. 4 is the smallest number. So take 4 minus 1. So that's 3. So 3 minus 3, 0 plus 1. So that is 1. So now you have completed the backward control pass. So backward pass is done so anything at the bottom is the backward pass anything at the top is called the forward pass now slack slack is just the difference between the bottom or the top corner so you can reduce either way let's do the slack in 
each cases. So slack here is what I'm looking at is this number and this number. So the difference between these two is called the slack. So slack here is zero. Slack here is also zero. Slack here because it's same number. Slack here is zero. Slack here is difference between nine and 14. Nine plus five. So the slack is five. And here it is zero. So this has a slack. So if the question is what is the float or slack for activity two, for activity two, it's zero. Activity three, if the question is what is the float or slack for activity three, then we can say it is five. Make sense? So this activity can delay up to five days because activity five cannot start until the activity four is complete. So even if it delays for five days, it will still be almost at the same point as activity four. That's why this has five days of slack. This is a critical piece that you have to understand as part of the exam. So the important pieces are forward control pass, which is all this numbers here and backward control pass, which is all the ones at the bottom. And then we have the slack, which is the difference between these numbers, either the difference between the top and the bottom on either side, it should give you the same number. So slack is early finish minus late finish or late finish or late start minus early start. All right. So in my case, this was wrong. It should be E F minus L F and L S minus E S. All right. I hope it helped. Just wanted to share that here. So practice this and you should be all good. Just remember to use these boxes with the activity name, the duration and the formulas for arriving at the numbers that goes on to the top corner when doing the forward control pass and the bottom corner when doing the backward control pass. Yes, that's all for today. I hope it was helpful. And if you have any further questions, put them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. And if you like this video or if it helped you in any way, just click the like button and that will help me a lot. And also if you're new here, consider subscribing for more project management tips, tricks and training videos. And as always, see you in the next one. Take care. Bye. Ooh.